acceleration calculations using A equals V minus U over T by kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. The equation we're going to be using today is A equals V minus U over T. So A equals V minus U over T is acceleration equals the final velocity V minus U the initial velocity divided by T. And the units are acceleration is meters per second squared, not meters per second. And the unit for time is seconds. Initial velocity is meters per second. Final velocity is meters per second. Final velocity minus initial velocity is the same as saying the change in velocity. This here is a car. It is stationary. It has a velocity of zero meters per second. It is stationary. So now the stationary car is going to increase its velocity. We call this acceleration. So it increases its velocity from zero meters per second to 10 meters per second. It is now traveling at a steady velocity of 10 meters per second. And it takes the car five seconds to do this. And it takes the car five seconds to accelerate from zero meters per second to 10 meters per second. Let's now use this information to calculate the car's acceleration. So we use the equation A equals V minus U over T. So we're looking for A, so we do not need to rearrange the equation. So we first identify V. V is 10 meters per second because it is the final velocity. V is 10 meters per second because it is the final velocity. So you must do final velocity minus initial velocity. Then we must identify U. U is the initial velocity. So zero meters per second is the initial velocity of the car. That's going to be 10 minus zero. And then we identify the time it took for the car to accelerate from zero meters per second to 10 meters per second. And that time is five seconds. That's going to be 10 minus zero. That gives you a change in velocity of 10 meters per second. Then you divide the change in velocity by time, which is going to be 10 divided by five seconds. That gives you an acceleration of two meters per second squared. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. We're going to use the same car as before. It is now traveling at a steady velocity of 10 meters per second. And it's going to accelerate from 10 meters per second to 15 meters per second. And it no longer accelerates. And it takes five seconds for the car to accelerate from 10 meters per second to 15 meters per second. So we now want to calculate the new acceleration of the car. So we then recall the equation a equals V minus U over T. So now you must identify V, the final velocity. So the final velocity is 15 meters per second. And then U, the initial velocity, is 10 meters per second. So it's going to be 15 meters per second minus 10 meters per second divided by the time, which is five seconds. So now it's going to be the change in velocity, which is five meters per second divided by the time, five seconds, which gives you an acceleration of one meter per second square. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So the car is now moving at 15 meters per second at a steady velocity. The car is then gonna slow down and decelerate to zero meters per second and become stationary. So it will not be moving anymore. And it's gonna take the car three seconds to decelerate from 15 meters per second to zero meters per second. So let's calculate the acceleration of this car as it decelerates. So you must recall the equation A equals V minus U over T, and we don't need to rearrange it because A is the subject. So identify V, which is the final velocity, that's zero meters per second, and then we subtract the initial velocity, which is 15 meters per second. Initial velocity, which is 15 meters per second. So you've got zero meters per second 
minus 15 meters per second. And then you identify how long it took to decelerate, which is three seconds. So now you've got zero meters per second minus 15 meters per second, which is the change in velocity. That's going to be minus 15 meters per second. And you divide that by the time, which is three seconds. So now you've got acceleration equals minus 15 meters per second, which is the change in velocity, divided by time, which is three seconds. That will give you an acceleration of minus five meters per second squared. So a negative acceleration is deceleration. So a negative acceleration is deceleration. So if you've got a negative number for the acceleration, the car is slowing down, it is decelerating. Press pause to calculate the acceleration of cars one, two, and three. So you must recall the equation, A equals V minus U over T. The final velocity V is 20 meters per second minus 10 meters per second, the initial velocity, divided by time, which is two seconds. So you do the change in velocity, which is 20 minus 10, which is 10 meters per second, divided by two seconds. That will give you an acceleration of five meters per second squared. Recall the equation, A equals V minus U over T. So the final velocity is 30 meters per second, 30 meters per second. The initial velocity is 20 meters per second, and the time it took them is five seconds. So the change in velocity is going to be 10 meters per second. And you divide 10 meters per second by five seconds, that will give you an acceleration of two meters per second squared. So recall the equation, A equals V minus U over T. V is 30 meters per second. U is 30 meters per second and they're driving for 10 seconds, which is the t, the time. So the change in velocity is zero meters per second. And you divide zero meters per second by 10 seconds, that will give you an acceleration of zero meters per second squared. They are not accelerating, they are traveling at a constant velocity. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.